I'm with uh, Sheila Stewart from Capricorn Animal Rescue Centre in Patesworth. Um, Sheila, you've been here 30 years uh, running a very successful animal rescue centre, but uh, in, the last, uh, in the last few months it's become even more difficult, isn't it? The last 12 months have been horrendous, and it's not just here, it's national. Um, nationwide, all the rescues, all the sanctuaries are overflowing. They've all got a waiting list in the home counties. It's three or four months waiting list to get your dog in. Um, we could say three or four weeks, sometimes only two weeks, depending on the situation and how many dogs we do manage to home. Um, you've obviously got a huge variety of animals here. Is that is that part of the part of the struggle really that you, you obviously you don't want to turn anything away, do you? No. Um, with most of the animals, we are coping really well. With dogs and cats, we're getting such an influx. Um, we've had to put a stop on the incoming numbers and um, we've actually had to send one back unfortunately to Liverpool yesterday that turned up there was nowhere over that side to take this little Yorkie in and we just couldn't fit it in anywhere we had to send him back um, but I've asked the dog groomer who has care for it at the moment to hang on to it and see if I can get it in within the week mm -hmm. so I am hoping to take that one in um, we do have a few others that we've not been able to help for various reasons um, People who are homeless, we had one chap turn up in the yard with his dog. He was walking the streets in the pouring rain, he'd got no transport. We just could not help him, we could not get his dog in at all. I tried all the foster homes, mm -hmm. I tried everywhere, and there was, we just couldn't get it in. Mm -hmm. And I, I felt bad, I felt guilty. And um, it, it, that brought it to a head, mm -hmm. the fact that we do need to home some animals because the Christmas crisis is looming mm -hmm. and we just won't have any space whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, we're overflowing with rabbits, with ferrets, we've got more guinea pigs now than we've had for a long, long while. Mm -hmm. We've got over 15. Um, it goes up on a daily basis, so it's usually around about 15 at the moment. And um, rabbits, we've just got them everywhere because we have got colony units, we've got new colony units, but we've got so many rabbits, we've not managed to integrate them all yet. Mm -hmm. And whereas they're going out in ones and twos, they're coming in in fifteens. Mm -hmm. And it's not—it's not just a case of, of of taking the animals in, but it's also the support that you give them once you have the animals here. They obviously need to be feed, fed, treated, um, and that and that brings its own pressures and expenses, especially when you're overwhelmed. Yes, we we have to um, get them all neutered, identity chipped, wormed, flea treated. They're insured as well. They're identity chipped. Um, and there's the feeding and there's the care. Mm -hmm. Luckily we've got a really wonderful team of volunteers who come down seven days a week mm -hmm. and they have to throw them out at six or seven o'clock at night, tell them to go home and get a life. Mm -hmm. um, but they are totally dedicated and without them we couldn't keep going. Mm -hmm. But um, food wise, if people can donate food, that means we can spend the money we'd normally spend on food on veterinary care mm -hmm. and get more animals ready for going out to homes. Yeah, how important the role can, can other people play in, in helping these situations? Because obviously there's animals lovers out there and that, will, that will want to assist, that will want to help. How, how can they do that? Um, well, they can do that either by becoming a member. Um, we do have membership forms. That is great support. The membership is £5 a month. Mm -hmm. And um, they can pay that through direct debits. Or they can organise collections of pet food, bedding, yeah. even things for selling in the charity shops amongst family, friend, neighbours, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Newspapers we're always in need of, and we do use quite a lot of evening leaders, <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Um, they just fit nicely in the pens. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we, we need pet food, um, especially dog and cat food, as much as anything else, because mm -hmm. we go through so much. Obviously, with so many animals, we go through an awful mm -hmm. lot of that. If people want to, to, to give you a call and, and find out what's the, what's the best way to get, to, to get involved, what well, one number should they call you on? 0244 547 938, and I'll be glad to hear from them.